A glandular epithelium is actually an epithelial tissue as you all can understand it is meant mainly for secretion. So a gland is principally involved in secreting some kind of a substance, some kind of a secretion. You can classify glandular epithelium into unicellular glandular cells as well as multicellular glands. So here you can see how each cell in the epithelium, there is a single cell in the epithelium that looks like a wine glass. It is referred to as the goblet cells. And notice how the goblet cells is producing a secretion. You can see this secretion. And this secretion of the goblet cell is referred to as the mucus. So since it secretes mucus, it is referred to as a glandular cell. And here the process or the job of secretion is being performed by one single cell. And as a result, it is referred to as a unicellular gland. So please all of you remember, goblet cell is an example for a unicellular gland because one single cell is performing the role of secretion and where do you find this goblet cell children so goblet cells are found in the lining of your small intestine in your stomach in your respiratory tract okay so the inner wall of your respiratory system and your digestive system what if a gland is made up of many many cells in the previous slide we saw there was one single cell which was performing the role of secretion what if there are many many cells see many many cells are grouped together and they are pouring out a secretion and such a type of gland as you see in your salivary gland and in your sweat gland is called a multicellular gland so please remember when a gland is made up of more than one cell it is called as a multicellular gland and as you all are aware a multicellular gland may have a duct or a tube it is called exocrine gland or it may pour its secretion into the surrounding fluid that bathes the gland which is either blood or a lymph it is referred to as the endocrine gland so two types of multicellular glands are exocrine and endocrine remember endocrine glands do not have duct so therefore they are referred to as the ductless glands and you must have also learned about some of the secretions of the exocrine glands if you think of some of the secretions like the ones mentioned here saliva is secreted by exocrine multicellular glands and then you have sweat that is secreted by the exocrine gland and then you have digestive juices in your stomach like your gastric juice and even the ear wax in your ear canal which is called cerumen and of course even the milk is secreted and oil on your skin is also secreted by the exocrine multicellular gland one thing that keeps them together is they are made up of many many cells which group together which form a gland so two types of glands are unicellular glands as well as in this slide what you can see that is multicellular glands